Can a platelet-rich plasma injection actually heal a meniscus tear? This randomized controlled trial studied 72 patients with chronic degenerative meniscus tears. Every patient underwent an ultrasound-guided minimally invasive procedure called percutaneous trephination, where tiny needle punctures are made through the meniscus to stimulate bleeding and bring in new healing factors. Half of the patients then received a PRP injection directly into the meniscus, while the other half received a saline placebo injection. The group that received PRP showed a significantly higher healing rate compared to the control group. When looking at both MRI and arthroscopy data, 52% of menisci in the PRP group healed, versus only 30% in the control group. Pain and function also improved. A clinically meaningful reduction in pain measured by the VAS pain scale was achieved by 65% of patients treated with PRP compared to 39% in the control group. And when looking at the CUS symptoms subscale, which measures stiffness, swelling, and catching, 76% of PRP patients reached a meaningful improvement versus only 48% in the control group. And these results are important because they suggest that PRP isn't just masking pain, it's likely helping the meniscus actually repair itself. The combination of mechanical stimulation from the trephination and biological activation from PRP appears to change the environment inside the meniscus from one that can't heal to one that can. And even in cases where the meniscus didn't show complete structural healing on MRI, patients still experienced less pain and better function, meaning the tissue likely underwent at least partial biological repair. And that's an important distinction because improvement in pain and function without surgery suggests the meniscus may be regaining some of its load-bearing and shock-absorbing properties.